here. Thank you so much for clicking. It means so much. So today I want to share an accomplishment. I just read the whole Harry Potter series in six months and I've never read the whole series before. For me this is a huge deal because I am dyslexic and it is hard to read and when I was younger I used to hate reading but then when I was about 17 I found a book that I loved and then I just like never stopped reading and now I just love to read so much so I wanted to read the whole series all seven books and I did it I'm so happy so to celebrate this accomplishment I thought I would do a Harry Potter tag with some question and answers also while I was finishing reading the seventh book I decided to paint my nails in Harry Potter colors I have the H, and then I have Slytherin and Silver, Gryffindor, Red and Gold, Maroon and Gold, Blue, Ravenclaw and Silver, and Hufflepuff, Black and Yellow. Also did colors. They're super cute and super fun. I'm wearing my Hogwarts shirt today for this video. What is my Hogwarts house? I am in Ravenclaw for intelligence, wit, creativity, and originality. I think that one totally fits. I'm super original and I love just thinking outside the box. What is my Patronus? My Patronus is a Tompkins cat and I got that on Pottermore. What is my wand? I got this from Pottermore so I'm gonna read it. Maple wood with a unicorn hair core 13 and 1 4th inches and pliant flexibility. I was so happy I got unicorn hair, I just thought that sounded so cool. What position would I play in Quidditch? I would love to be a seeker, I would just love to find the little snitch, and it's gold and super cute and I have super great eyes so I can just like focus really intensely and I would be able to find it, plus me and Harry Potter would share that. Would you be a pure blood, a half blood, or a muggle born? I would probably be a half-blood because I just love Harry Potter and I've learned as much as I can but I know I'm not fully a pure blood because I don't know every single thing like I can't name whose wand is whose wand even though I want to learn more and more about that. Which of the Deathly Hollows would I choose? I would probably choose the cloak because I've always wanted to be invisible and just kind of like sneak in on people's conversations and just be like there but not there. That always just seems super fun to me. What is my favorite Harry Potter book? My favorite Harry Potter book would probably be either book one, Sorcerer's Stone, or book two, Chamber of Secrets. I loved these books. I read them so fast. I think I read the first one in three days and the second one in four days. And I just, it's so cool how Harry Potter starts out and he just thinks he's just, a, he's just an orphan, you know, muggle, and he finds out he's a wizard and then this whole magical world is open up to him. It's just so cool for to watch him learn and grow. My least favorite Harry Potter book would probably be Order of the Phoenix. Um, it might have just been because I took three, I took a few months to read that instead because I was dealing with a lot of different um, health stuff, but it ended up being kind of slow. I was moving through it pretty slow. My favorite Harry Potter movie would probably be book one just because he's learning so much new and they introduce the characters and it's just super good. My least favorite movie would probably be Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one because I don't really like when the Horcruxes are making them have sad, you know, de depression and sad thoughts and stuff, and it just seems like it just moves really, really, really slow, and then all of a sudden it drops off, and then when I watched the movie, I had to wait a whole year for the next movie to come out, so that was probably my least favorite film, because when they're looking for the horror crisis, it's just sad and depressing and really slow. My favorite teacher at Hogwarts would probably be Professor McGonagall. She is just so strong and so powerful and she always seems to know what the kids are up to but she always just believes them and wants to help them and it's just super cool. Especially in Deathly Hollows, where some insane crazy stuff happens and 
she fights back. <laughs> what Harry Potter quote is my favorite? That would be by Al Albus Dumbledore. It says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, if only one remembers to turn on the light. And this just reminds me of finding good and light and even in the darkest of times and in the darkness and that as long as someone has that light they can just flick it on and focus on the positive and even when the circumstances are crazy and negative. Which spell do I think would be the most useful? I'd have to say, not sure how to say Asio, A-C-C-I-O and then you say whatever you want like Asio water bottle and it shows up. Or Alohomora, which unlocks things. I think that would be an awesome spell. And Wingardium Leviosa just sounds so fun and so fun to say. So those are the three that I really like. My favorite character is definitely Harry Potter because everything that goes on and he could, like Voldemort tries to kill him so many times and he could just be super negative and just run away from it and just like curl up in a ball and be depressed about just everything that goes on that he, you know, that he was gonna get hurt and that Voldemort wanted to kill him and just like all this different stuff that happens. But instead he always fights and he just like stands up and walks for another day. And just that he pushes through the depression of all the negative circumstances and he always finds a light and just battles it. And it's just so amazing and such a good message to hear that you don't have to stop when your circumstances go crazy and that when all this crazy stuff happens and negative stuff that you could still just push through and with your people around you and your community and everything you can just fight that battle and continue to push forward one step at a time it's just so awesome my second favorite character or my girl char favorite character would be Luna Lovegood. I just love how she's so insanely cra crazy and fun. She, I love her in the movies. I love her voice, I love the actress's voice. And when, a um, few times, so when Harry Potter is at Bill and Fleur's wedding and he has Polyjuice Potion to turn into one of the Weasley cousins, so he looks totally different. And Luna just walks right up to him and goes, Hi, Harry! Like, she can just totally see through the Polyjuice Potion, and that's like a sixth sense. And I just thought that was so cool, and she's hilarious. I find myself, when I'm reading, I'm like laughing out loud at like her parts, because she's just so funny. <laughs> My least favorite character would be Professor Umbridge. I love the color pink. But she ruined it for me for a while because she loved, she wore pink and she was supposed to be like this like dystopian kind of character where it's like perfect little character and she was so evil and so mean and I was so upset when in the books and movies she has Harry Potter writing, I will not tell lies and it cuts into his hand and it's just like the worst punishment and I could, I like, I was like, really? Like, you just need to not be in the book. I do not like you at all. Whew. Part of the books or movies that made me cry in the book on the last few pages when it was the 19 years later, it wasn't a sad cry. It was like an emotional, like, oh my goodness, this book series is over. I have read the whole thing. Harry Potter is done. Like, it was like an emotional, like, happy, like, Wow, like it was an overwhelming type of cry that was just like welling in my eyes and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> what would my Amorticina or Love Potion smell like? It would smell like warm vanilla, maybe some spiced vanilla and just super sweet. We're finishing the whole series. I think I'm gonna buy myself a You Finish the Whole Harry Potter series present. I'm thinking of getting a wand, just one that I can use for decoration on my shelves. That is all for the Harry Potter tag. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!